Welcome to Kemi Talks Gist. I'm Dr. Kemi Lawrence. It's the 24th of September, 2024. The story I'm about to give you is a very sad story. It really, really hurts to the core. And if this was my son, I would sue this lady. It's so painful. I did a few investigations in the background in the last maybe one week or so, and I found out some really shocking things. Ioma Neji is the lady's name, and the guy is Henry Ugochuku. Now, Henry's an attorney in Abuja, and a very good one too. They said he's independent, has his own firm, and has a great reputation. Ioma Neji is a young nurse in Houston, Texas, in America. And she happens to be the daughter of the prominent businessman um, that owns the ABC Transport, that Neji family. Now, her parents are very great people. They have a good reputation. Many of you have even taken their buses, ABC, you know, for long distance travel and all. Now, what I found out was shock you. Ioma was married in 2015. Nine years ago, she was actually married to somebody else. And her entire life with that wedding, it was flamboyant because she's from a very rich family and prominent family. It was all over the internet. Now, I remember this wedding very well in 2015. You know, I was still a journalist and I was actively covering a lot of gist and news and all that. Now, it turns out that that wedding was only three or four months um, old and they broke up after a lavish wedding. When they broke up, Ioma seems to have been bringing new men home to show her parents, I want to marry this one. But for some reason, many of these men didn't want to settle with her because she had a huge anger management issue. Anger management. And this is what caused her to tweet or post on her story on Instagram, I believe, some very inflammatory stuff. I did see these things all around the net. Some of these screenshots were very disturbing, accusing Ugo Chuku of just like different horrible things. She said he was gay. She said he was admitted for an STD. This is somebody you want to marry. Henry Gochuku is supposed to marry Ioma on November 9th in Lagos. I even got screenshots of the receipts from different people and all. These things are all floating around the internet. Mornak Event Center, that's where they're supposed to have the reception. They're supposed to have the church wedding down there in Lagos as well. This guy spent a lot of money on her coming to Nigeria, business class tickets on the plane. Oh, if you see what I got in that investigation, it was crazy. But what made her do this? What made her blackmail her future husband? Well, according to friends, Gochuku found out that... Ioma was married before, nine years ago, but never told him. You see the reason why I always say, when you meet somebody, Google their name. Just Google. Even if Google is 80% correct, 20% wrong, you'll see something. Can you Google my name and not find out something about me? If you're not sure, you can ask me. You know what I mean? Harry didn't Google her, but... He's probably not an internet person. Not everybody's like, love the internet all the time. However, when he found out that she was already married in 2015 and broke up and not telling him, this was almost towards the marriage time. So they went so far in the relationship before she told him. They say she has a habit of doing this kind of things. He now decided, with this anger issue you have, because they fight all the time, he didn't know that she actually had a record of this. That being said, he wanted to get to know her a little bit more and just delay the wedding. So Ioma got mad and decided to blackmail Henry by posting an Instagram story and possibly other platforms, I don't know, but this story screenshots disturbed me a lot. 
calling him a gay guy. That's why I'm not going with this guy anymore. Um, he had an STD, he brought an STD home. And I heard that Ugo Chuku was actually admitted for an appendix operation. Is it appendicitis? At Evercare Hospital in Lekki. Hioma was there. She took pictures of him and everything. And then posted those pictures and said, look at him in the hospital with an STD. <laughs> Nobody gets admitted to the hospital for an STD. That's an outpatient treatment. I'm a pharmacist. I know that. You take your antibiotics home. You take care. You refrain from sex. But he... You know, this thing was put out there elaborately by this lady in the United States. Henry's reputation was damaged. This guy's reputation was torn apart by this lady. Anyway, I got some screenshots where she's begging him to forgive her. Let's give it a shot one more time. I don't want to post this yet. There's going to be a time I'm going to post them. But... <clears throat> How do I solve this? How do what should happen here? <laughs> I don't know. She really, really needs to get online. Remember what happened with me and Davido? I said Davido needs to tweet. He doesn't have to come and apologize to me. He needs to tweet on the same platform to just say I'm sorry. Yama, you need to go publicly apologize to your future husband on that very same Instagram story. And tell people that you lied. You have to tell people you lied. He didn't have an STD. He was having an appendix operation. I've spoken to so many friends of both sides. And the stuff I heard was so bad. Is there something wrong in canceling a wedding or delaying a wedding? Especially when you find out that your fiancé or your girlfriend or the woman you're going to marry was married before but never said anything. The parents have met. It was after the parents met that she now decided to tell the husband, oh, I was married in 2015. Now, if Henry had done his homework by Googling, he would have found out that she had married before and there were some elements of lies there. You don't want to marry somebody like that because that means they're lying. and they're going to lie throughout the marriage. And I heard that Henry and... You know, Ioma always fight all the time. She always struck an argument with him. She was very, she has an anger problem. I've even spoken to some of the men that she dated between the ex-husband and Henry. And everybody's saying the same thing, that she has an anger issue. Ioma, I think you should go apologize to Henry publicly the way you did it on Instagram story. These conversations, these screenshots I got, hmm. Don't even worry. I'm an investigative journalist. I'm retired, but the way I get my information, okay, I don't know who Henry sent the screenshots to. I don't care, but it got to the journalist. You know how that works. I was just shocked. You want him to give you another chance, but you destroyed his name. A very, very quiet person. They called Henry Ogochuku. Very reserved. He doesn't make any trouble. He doesn't fight anybody. He just does his thing in Abuja. And Harry himself is from a very good family. You know, the Gochuku family, I heard that they're very, very nice people and they're quiet. And, you know, even Ihoma's family, they don't make noise. The Neji family, they run their business, they do everything smoothly. But you brought this drama to your family, young lady. You should apologize, like, soon. This story is not good. I have an advice for everybody out there, especially my children. My children are 37, 33, and 24. My children already know the advice. Be careful who you're dating if you're a young man. Know about them. Know about their past. If you have to, hire a private investigator to find out about them because these things could be avoided. And I really think it's a shame. Um, this young man needs to build his name back and I think that's why I did this video. I want his name built back because she gave a very wrong impression of him. He's not homosexual. Oh, God. Amount of people I spoke to in the last week alone. Anyway, that's what I have to say. Kemi talks. Just. Thanks for watching.